one away from tying up this football game. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now the Eagles offense back out onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And Matthews over the middle with a grab. The completion good for three and it's second down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. They're going to look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. throw here on first down. Ertz has it left side. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Fresh set of downs here. They'll look to throw again. Surveying the field. A strong running. <laughs> oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Yeah, and that right there will set him back a bit on the offensive holding penalty. And you know who you want to pressure after a penalty like that? The guy who just committed the foul. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down, if he's going to get his head right back into the game. I'd send a blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll be a second and long. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now let's go. Green, 39. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's got it over the middle, Fleener. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Third down and 12. They come up at an offset eye. And now here's a carry heading left. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. Now, never mind, Larry. Forget your halftime report. Apparently, we are set for the third quarter of action already. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Spinning past him. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line.
They'll come out in the pistol. Throwing Lynch. And this one hauled in by Tavon Austin. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback who has to slide and find open space to throw. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. now throwing on third he's going to air one out so they took a shot there on third down couldn't get it now it's four well they haven't had a whole lot of success in the passing game here now in the second half he's thinking i guess maybe just take a shot deep i think you're right almost looking for a bailout isn't he can my receiver go up and make a big play for me can I create a penalty downfield, maybe pick up an interference call and get that yardage downfield? Anything trying to get going again, but you're right. He definitely took a shot. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. some space here and he'll cut it to the left sideline touchdown Philadelphia a big play there touchdown number 18 on the year and the Eagles add on to their lead and on that long run maybe the defense caught napping a little bit the concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. and 10. It's Lynch. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So second and 10 here. Let's go. Green. Second and 10. It's Lynch again. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They come up in an offset eye. Third and two, now Lynch. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. He went full scale, loose, flexible, finding a way to catch the ball in some traffic for a key first down. Yeah, really a nice job of adjusting to the ball in the air. Not the most accurate of throws, but able to adjust and make the grab. On first down, a battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised. 
but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will complete to Marcus Wheaton. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 yards through the air and a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Four down, four down. Chopper! Chopper! They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes. But they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get it. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there with his 19th touchdown, his second of the game. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Not only touchdown number two for him, but a big run to boot. However, still trailing. Still trailing, but not because of his efforts. Boy, he's playing really well. and I love his long speed there, right? Able to get out there and burst all the way to the end zone. And smart enough to keep the ball in his hands and get to the end zone for the touchdown. In, in 2016, on all levels of football, we're seeing guys drop it before the goal line. What's the rule, Brandon? Run into the goal, to the goal post, post. That's right. before you, you drop the ball. That. There you go. his way up past the 30. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Green, 39! Green, 39! Lynch looking to throw on second. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Timmy Jernigan in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Giants with possession of the football but needing points as we start quarter number four. Third and 11, five in the secondary now. Nickel look. Here's Lynch going up top. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get the third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. On first down, it's Lynch. 
Man open left side, it's Williams. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive, there he hits the reliable target. First and ten, it's Lynch. Quick throw, that's complete on the inside slam. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because uh -huh. here we are season in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he locates Wheaton complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll run it now out of the gun. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. See if they stay on the ground for a second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Michael Kendricks in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Oh, partner, there's something...